I uh, marched from 1962 in parade corps and then in senior corps from 1965 through 1986. And 1987, we were at a show up in Canada. And I don't remember if it was uh, Cavaliers or Phantom Regiment, but the tubas were moving diagonally backwards. Number 10 went down and nine piled on. So I went backside to see how they get that taken care of. The brass shop is a mobile brass musical instrument repair service that started in 1988. And this is year 30, and this is the last year for me. Somebody else is going to take over. 30 years is long enough. I love the activity. All of them are my favorites. I don't care who's number one, and I don't care who's number 30 whatever. I wanted to keep my hands in the activity rather than just go watch shows. I said, why don't I? Why don't I fix horns? That same year in Kansas City, I asked Gail Royer of Vanguard, I said, would it be feasible to have somebody helping the cores with their instrument repairs out on the road? He said, you guys are crazy or stupid. And I, my wife says, he's both. But, it, but, but it's like, I work, with, I, I work with my hands, I love what I do, when I was 53, I had the opportunity to retire from my full-time job at Eastman Kodak Company. They came out with a package. The business was 10 years old and things were going well. So I said, that's a no-brainer. So since 1988, this has been going. And 10 years after I started it, I retired from my full-time job. Having the feeling that I have about the activity, the young adults. I've seen kids from broken homes, I've seen kids from drug families that got involved with the activity 30 years ago and uh, turned their lives around and, 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 and became something, made, made something of themselves. Music educators graduate from college, become a music educator. That's, that's quite an accomplishment after coming from the background they had. <laughs>